guys what's up it's your girls twin goddesses and i'm alicia and i am back with another video for you all this time i decided i wanted to silk press this italian yaki unit that i did pick up from ywigs.com so definitely check down below for all of their information as well as a coupon code but anyways guys this is their brand new undetectable skin melt hd lace wig this unit is in a 13 by 6 so it's going to go temple to temple in six inches back i do have mines in a 20 inch and the density on this one is 150 percent but this is how the hair comes directly out the bag i thought this was the perfect opportunity to silk this out y'all it's been a year since i did a silk press on my natural hair so i was like okay let me experiment i do think this is interesting content and maybe someone wants to know how we do it so first things first I'm gonna get this hair nice and shampooed and conditioned using my silicone mix so once that's done I'll be right back So what I love about this particular unit is that this hair comes pre-plucked as well as those knots are bleached. So for those of you guys who do not care to do those steps, it's done for you, okay, period, okay? But um, what I'm gonna do here is soften up that line. I am not really tweezing it. It's just there is a manufactured line up the front and I'm just softening it. This is completely optional. You don't have to do it. Your wig will still look like mine's, okay? But now to the silk press part i like to take my mazani miracle leave-in as well as my beyond straight temporary straightening serum i'll be sure to link all the information down below to where you can pick this up in case you are interested but i like to take my negative ion blow dryer and a round brush and blow that hair out this is key when you want to get your hair to look nice and full but straight and keep that texture in there make sure you're blowing the hair out okay you're going to get body and movement that is key but now i'm going to be using my babyliss titanium flat iron and we're going to silk this hair out again taking a little bit of the serum i'm going to apply it throughout the sections and take small portions and only use one pass y'all if you want your hair to look like silky straight hair then definitely take a few passes but i'm only doing one pass because i do not want this hair to be too silky i want it to look like a fresh silk press on my natural hair so we want to definitely preserve that texture we're just pretty much creating a more manageable tamed look and here are my results i mean yes sis look at the body look at the movement there's still texture yes we are getting silk press in this video okay but anyways i am going for a side part on this one because the hairline is a little wonky so i like to use my hot comb to train the hair to go that way of course if you don't want your hair to be trained to go that way maybe just part the hair and use a little water and you can kind of flip it back and forth throughout the day however i am just going for a side part so the hot comb is going to help me with that but yeah guys i am so proud of myself because you guys always tell us no baby hairs no baby hairs so i decided in this video to not do baby hairs so yes all right so we're gonna actually see what that hairline does as well as that lace because with these hd wigs you know we want to see like is it really invisible or are they just trying to take our coins okay but we're going to focus on that but as you guys can see this is how the hair looks again there's still texture there's still movement and body um, it looks like a fresh silk press all right but anyways, uh, with my particular unit, I do have mines in the size medium. There is an elastic band you can use in case your head is a little smaller. Um, also, if you don't glue the wig down, that elastic band is going to help keep the hair from falling back. So definitely um, go for that. But if you do have a big head, I'd go up a size, okay? So this is how their undetectable HD lace is looking without the melt. I can still kind of see it a little bit, but you must understand that it becomes undetectable once it is melted down. Now you guys do know how I feel about adhesives on my skin. I do not prefer it, 
So in this particular unit, I am not melting it in and we're just gonna see how natural it looks without the melt. I do use a little gel to tame the edges of the wig as well as kind of, you know, sit on that lace to give like a semi melt, all right? So yeah, now I'm gonna take my concealer and apply that into the parting space. This is not necessary because again, that lace is undetectable. However, I want it to kind of match my skin completely. Complexion. And, and now I'm just using my flat iron not to make the hair straighter but to kind of frame it around my face as you guys can see I am kind of like bumping it a little bit to kind of give off that Aaliyah look so yeah so you guys can see here there's a little bit of a bump just so it is framing my face and my body and giving me you know not so much of a straight look okay and this is how it looks I mean there is so much body left in this wig this Italian yaki is just bomb all right it's giving me silk press all right <laughs> but here are the angles of the hair again if I didn't say this already this unit is in a 20 inch as you guys can see I am tall I'm five foot eight and it falls right into my waist area and yeah the color on this particular unit is a natural brown, so it's not jet black. You can dye it if you want, but it's just giving me naturalness, okay? Again, look at that hairline. It is not melted down. So you guys can still see it a little bit. Again, if you melt it down using a got to be free spray, it becomes invisible. All right. Again, this comes from ywigs.com. All the information will be linked down below. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I will catch you later. Bye, guys.